as part of the American Live Bear Convention, I was able to take a tour of many of the fish farms and fish stores that were in Florida. One of the places they took us to was the Neighborhood Fish Farm, which is one of the most unique fish stores that I've ever visited. The majority of the store was completely outside and utilized the concrete coffin liners that you see used in many of the other Florida fish farms that you can see on YouTube. Being from the north and having a fish store completely outside is a completely foreign concept to me. When you enter the facility, there is an indoor section as well as the outdoor section you just saw. But this is the part of the store where you can find items such as food and other dry goods for your aquarium. Heading back to the outside, it kind of had a farmer's market vibe to it, which I found kind of cool. Like I said in the open, a set of fish tanks, they use concrete coffin liners to hold the fish, which provided a unique shopping experience, since instead of looking into an aquarium like you normally would, you have to shop for your fish from a top-down view. And taking the GoPro around and going through the vats, there is plenty to explore and learn. So let's go ahead and take a look. One of the most important things that I took away from my trip to the neighborhood fish farm was the unique fish combinations that you can keep together in the right circumstances. Perfect example is this vat of Pseudotrophia soloci. If you watch this clip to the end, you'll all of a sudden see some goldfish come into view and everyone is getting along nicely. This next vat featured another unique combination with the Oscars, goldfish, and some other types of cichlids living together. I don't think you'd see many combinations of this floating around anywhere on YouTube. This vat was also very unique, having a bunch of mollies, a sore tail or two in here, as well as a nice group of severums. There was definitely quite a wide variety of African cichlids as you walk through the vats. This vat here housed some Victorian cichlids, probably Pundamilia nairii, as well as some Burchardi cichlids. In terms of African cichlids, you also saw a lot of trophies, probably more trophies than I've seen in any other event or any other fish store. Other than the African cichlids, there was also a nice selection of goldfish and koi. And along with all of that, there were definitely quite a few live bearers as well. One of the highlights for me though, was this monster fish pond with some arowana and some red tailed catfish. Filming underwater with the red tailed catfish was definitely quite interesting because they were pretty curious about the camera. The neighborhood fish farm was really a highlight of my trip down to ALA. Along with the fact of it just being outside, I really did find the store to be inspiring with the numerous vats and combinations of fish that were kept in each vat. This was definitely something you would not find at many places out on the internet or something that would be advised on the forums or even on YouTube. Seeing these vats really made me go back and examine some of the norms in the aquarium hobby. I really enjoyed my visit and would highly recommend checking out the neighborhood fish farm if you're in the Miami area.